So this week, I wanted to do something a little bit different. This week, I'm going to be talking about my album pick of the month. So every month, I'm going to pick a different record in my collection that, for one reason or another, I just love. Well, any record that enters my collection is a record I love, pretty much. So, we're going to start off this week with one of my absolute favorites. And this is the Blues Brothers soundtrack. This is quite possibly one of my all-time favorite movies. Ask anybody that, that knows me. It's my favorite movie ever. And it, it's just this wonderful, feel-good type of movie. It's got, you know, it's basically a musical comedy. And that, it really just... It, it feels good for me, you know. It's that it's that kind of thing I like. It's got, you know, the blues. It's got rock. It's got soul. It's got, you know, all this this different type of music to make one cohesive film. And this album is a selection of those tracks from the movie. And I think it it could not possibly be better. You know, it starts with the movie's opening song, She Caught the Katie, which one of the best songs the Blues Brothers ever did. Um, got a, uh, their own rendition of the Peter Gunn theme, which is okay. I mean, I would have preferred something other than an instrumental. Um, Give Me Some Lovin', fantastic song, which you, you don't really get to hear in its entirety in the movie, because if you watch the movie, they kind of get halted partway through the song so y you never really get to hear it it's got uh, shake your tail feather with ray charles which that's probably one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie like just all the different dance moves ray charles singing and playing on the piano is it's fantastic i could not ask for a better better song um, Everybody Needs to Love Somebody. It's one of the songs they do in the Palace Hotel Ballroom towards the end of the film, and oh my god, it is fantastic. Um, the Old Landmark, the the song from the church where they have that realization that they're suddenly on this mission from God because they need to get the band back together. The band, Elwood, the band! You know, it, it it's so high octane, so high energy, and it just... It feels so good. And and that's the feeling you really get from this album, is that it feels good. Um, we move on to side two with Aretha Franklin and Think. Um, not a big fan of Aretha Franklin, but this is a really good version of Think. You get the theme from Rawhide, which... I mean, most people would be like, this is Rawhide, why would I care about Rawhide? But this is quite possibly the best version I think I've ever heard of Rawhide. So definitely worth listening. You get Minnie the Moocher with Cab Calloway himself, which is fantastic. How many, how many movies can say, we've got not only Cab Calloway, but we have him doing one of his own songs on the movie? I, I think that's just great. Then you get Sweet Home Chicago, which the, 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 the instrumental part of it is just, is great. It's great for having it in the background. It's great for, you know, sitting down, getting some work done. It's just, it goes back to the entire album. It feels good. It feels great. It's such a wonderful album. We close it off with Jailhouse Rock. And it's just the band doing Elvis's Jailhouse Rock. And <laughs> it blows me away. I think I might like it better than the Elvis version, if I'm being quite honest. Um, but it, it, it's just, all in all, this is a fantastic album. And it, it's for one of the best movies you could ever see in... This, this repressing from music on vinyl 
um, from their At The Movies series. So it's a 180 gram audiophile pressing and oh my god, it, it sounds breathtaking. You listen to it on your turntable versus listening to it digitally, like a CD or an MP3, this sounds phenomenal. I'm absolutely blown away by how good this album sounds. <laughs> and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It, it's so good. Anyway, I just wanted to make it this short video. Um, I'm going to try and do one of these a month, you know, pick a different record every month and uh, give you an idea of what I feel about each track and you know what I what I think about the album or what what correlates to the album. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, we'll try and do one uh, next month in August. So we'll have August's pick. Um, but that's going to be it for right now. If you like this video, be sure to like it. Uh, do subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and I will see you next time.